Susan Cristino, we're at Ukaipa Fire Station 1, and fire officials, they're on high alert with the potential for a busy weekend of flood activity. And this is one of the locations where residents have been uh, be able to prepare with sandbags. There have been a steady flow of people all day. The evacuation warnings have gone out, and locals in this IE community are trying to be as prepared as they can be for it. Crews here are reinforcing a wall near the Oak Glen Steakhouse, where less than a year ago, a huge mudslide wiped out part of the restaurant, leaving it closed for months. I live up on Highland up there, and the waters came through pretty bad last time, so I'm hoping this time I can get a handle on it. Now on the brink of a tropical storm making landfall, nearby residents have similar concerns. Last time uh, the rains came, my entire pool got flooded with, with dirt, so we're going to try to prevent that this time. Now we've got sand. Free sandbags were offered at this fire station. I was just over at the regional park and they told me that they were giving sandbags away over here, so I left there to come over here. Across the street at the Stater Brothers, some of the longest line shoppers have seen as people prepare to hunker down. These are as long as I've ever seen and uh, should have come last night. It's all the way wrapped around the corner back to the milk, all the way around the meat department. On both sides. Still, with so much uncertainty, these residents say it's key to prepare and the sooner the better. I'm the manager of a mobile home park up the street, and it's a senior mobile home park with 217 spaces. So we got six cases of water, a lot of toilet paper, and non-perishable snacks for the residents in case when the power goes out or Wi-Fi goes out or in case of flooding. We already got the um, text message that said there was an evacuation plan for the area, and so we're just trying to make sure that all the residents where I manage are going to be well taken care of. And we do want to let you know more about those evacuation warnings from the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. They've been issued for the communities of Oak Glen, Forest Falls, Mountain Home Village, Angeles Oaks, and Northeast Yukaipa. And they could quickly turn into evacuation orders. As for supplies, we saw a lot of people waiting in line at the grocery store for things like bottled water, batteries, and non-perishable food. So you may have a hard time finding those items if you haven't already made your way to the store. Anything you can do to keep yourselves off the roads during that storm, it's advised you do so. Reporting live in Yucaipa, I'm Mario Ramirez, Fox 11 News.